Hi, my name is Crystal. I make video tutorials. I will show you how to use a tool you can download free to generate caption files for your videos. I developed this tool with Microsoft Access and am happy to share it with you. A caption file contains the written words you are saying in your video and is played at the same time as your video. Each caption is marked with a time to start and stop. The words generally appear on the bottom of the screen. Why should you take the time to caption your videos? Aside from people who are deaf and cannot hear what you have to say, many people are hard of hearing or English is not their first language. Captions give your viewers the ability to see what you are saying and understand it more clearly. Captions can also be translated into other languages, which broadens your audience. To download the caption tool, go to msaccessgurus.com, click on Free Access Tips and Tools, and then on Video Captions. You can also go to the link directly, msaccessgurus.com slash captions.htm. Click on the download link and save the file. Navigate to the directory where you saved the zip file and double-click it to see what is inside. Right-click on the database and choose Copy. Go to the folder where you want to put the database, right-click, and choose Paste. The Video Captions database is now ready to use. I'm going to show you the steps to caption a video, and then I will show you a demo of how it is done. If you have a script, great! If you don't, then transcribe your video. Start each sentence on new line. While you are transcribing, you may have extra lines in there, which is okay. Before, however, you read the text file into Access, be sure to delete the blank lines, at least the blank lines you don't want. A blank line, by the way, can stop the captions. Once your script is saved in a text file, you are ready to begin the captioning process. Open the database. Create a record in the videos table with your video information. Then open the video captions form. If the database has more than one video, you can use the Find combo box at the top to find the video you want to caption. Click the Read Text File button at the top of your form, then navigate to the directory with your script and choose the file. Access tells you how many lines were added. The next step is to open your video and size the window so that you can see access and your video at the same time. Then start playing your video and click the Mark Time checkbox in access. As each line is spoken, click in the Seconds column. When you are done, uncheck the Mark Time checkbox. If you weren't fast enough starting the timer in access, you can adjust all your captions by a set amount of time. When you're done editing your captions, click the Make Caption File button. A text file with the time codes and captions is created in the same directory as the database in SRT format. Now that we've reviewed the steps, I'll show you a demo of the captioning tool. I've already created a script for my video. I open the Video Caption Database and the Videos table. Then I add a record with my video information. I close the videos table and open the video captions form. I read my script from the text file by clicking the Read Text File button. I size access and my video player so I can see both windows at the same time. I play the video, check mark time, and start time coding. I'm looking at my contacts database. If you've been following my Learn Access lessons, you'll recognize some of the tables on the Relationships Diagram. This is where the lessons are headed. Hi, this is Crystal. I've speeded up the time coding process, which will take the same amount of time as your video does to play. This is a four minute video. You can see how easy this is. Just click in the seconds column as each line is said. Access records the minutes and seconds that have elapsed since the video started. When you are done time coding all the captions, uncheck the Mark Time checkbox. 
Make any edits you wish to the captions and the time codes. The blue guideline approximates where a caption will wrap to another line. While you're recording your video, keep in mind there will be captions at the bottom of the screen and be sure not to put anything important down there. If you want to split a caption to two lines, click where you want the split and then press the scroll wheel or middle mouse button. The next caption will have a time code two seconds later, which you may want to adjust. To generate the caption file, click the Make Caption File command button. Now you have a caption file that viewers can play along with your video to see the words as you say them. Creating captions is easy! To summarize, read captions into the database from a text file containing your script. Play the video and mark the times. Edit captions and adjust time codes. Then generate your caption file. Once you play your video and caption file together, you may wish to fine tune the time codes or edit your captions, and then simply generate another caption file. Captioning is easy and helps people have a better understanding of your video. Since the caption files are external to your video, caption files can be created and modified anytime. Captions cause your video to get more attention and those who need them really appreciate you. Learn more essential business skills at GoSkills.com. Thanks for watching. Through sharing, we will all get better.